Climate experts from around the world agree that in order to avoid runaway climate change, the world must stick to a carbon budget. The foremost scientific authority on this subject, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change or IPCC says that total emissions from the beginning of industrial revolution and up till the end of 21st century must not exceed 2,900 gigatons of CO2 emissions. Staying within this budget, the IPCC says, will leave a greater chance of limiting global warming to below 2 degrees Celsius. But sadly, the planet has already exhausted more than two-thirds of this budget. Between 1850 to 2011, the world emitted 1,900 gigatons of CO2, which leaves just a little over a third of the budget for the next 80 years or so. Therefore, in 2014, at the annual climate change meeting in Lima, also called COP20, all countries agreed to give their mitigation efforts to reduce their emissions by 2015. These emission mitigation pledges are called INDCs or Intended Nationally Determined Contributions. So far, 150 countries have submitted INDCs to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. But the big question is whether these INDCs will confine global emissions within the carbon budget prescribed by the IPCC. An analysis of the INDCs carried out by the New Delhi-based Centre for Science and Environment reveals that the current set of pledges are grossly inadequate to meet what climate scientists demand. CSC analysed the INDCs of 42 countries, including EU, which is a bloc of 28 countries but is represented through just one INDC. These countries account for 70% of global emissions. This analysis revealed that between 2012 and 2030, these 42 countries will emit 650 gigatons of CO2 and by 2070, these emissions can increase up to 1,400 gigatons. If all the countries in the world showed the same level of ambition as the ones included in CNC analysis, the world would end up emitting 2,000 gigatons by 2070. This is clearly not going to keep global temperature rise below 2 degrees Celsius. Kyoto Protocol, signed in 1997, was the first treaty designed to reduce global emissions. But with the US staying away from it and developed countries like Australia, Canada, Japan and Russia leaving it midway, it has only remained a hollow carcass without much substance. There is consensus amongst the scientific community that with every degree of temperature rise, the planet will become more and more inhabitable. Therefore, it is imperative that at the 2015 COP21 in Paris, the world in general and developed countries in particular show more ambition and ramp up their mitigation efforts. We still want a planet that we like to call home, don't we?